Hello, YouTube world. So it was a little impromptu morning having a it got really cold over the winter here so everything that had a battery in it uh, everything that's had a battery in it's ruined so Robbie tried to start the truck today and click 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 so I gotta change that battery out for him so just how it goes all right we are finally on the road got uh, all the trucks fired up and uh, we're gonna get some fuel so it's gonna be a slow morning uh, hopefully all the uh, I don't know the turns that it's taken that are slowing us down make us work faster today so we'll see how that goes and uh, some concretes coming tomorrow so I'm excited about that first little bit of concrete for the year uh, well I guess actual concrete. So let's get some fuel and then uh, Horleo and I are gonna get to work. Robbie's gonna go spray, actually fertilize since it's uh, you know early spring. Get to it and have a good day. It's pretty windy, but <clears throat> this is Horleo's first day. And he's already got, make sure I get this. <clears throat> I'm really proud of this, man. I'm recording here. I'm proud of this because everyone else just drops the ramps and doesn't use any lick of sense normally on the first time on the first time. But they leave the ramps wide and that thing's like super narrow. Oh yeah, I noticed that. I was like, so I always have to tell them like, you're trying to kill me. So yeah, man. I, to, I mean, when we put them up, I seen how close they were already when we widened them out. You know, most skid loaders are already like kind of like halfway, not on the, just maybe what, like a couple inches of this way and then they come down. Yeah, dude, I, when I work for the wind farm, I, I pull the trail all the time for the for the operators and stuff. They just load up the skid loader, they hop in the truck, and we go to the next site, go gravel around the, uh, like the windmills and stuff. Then we do rings and um, concrete, um, what do you call them, um, for the crane to sit on, because you can't just set the crane on the dirt, or, or you know, or else they'll kind of tip over and stuff. And so we will we'll lend out um, a pad for them, and the skid loaders will come up and just throw the gravel and stuff. I'd rake up the gravel, just check it out, level with them and stuff. Just a bunch of like, you know. Sounds like you got a pretty good yeah. amount of common sense. You some grading and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good deal, man. Uh, let's start right here. She just got a sprinkler system put in, so I don't want to. I don't want to ruin it the first the first year. <laughs> right here, it's right under this. You want me to move it a little more that way? Uh huh. here sorry I didn't st I do but I didn't put these in You know how to do that? No. Okay. Let's learn, let's learn, let's learn, no. Okay, cool. There's a lot of, I'll get a lot of them. A lot. I just got water in the hole. <laughs> yeah. You take care of your yard, I. I tried to. Yeah. But with the damn dogs, man. Yeah. They just freaking can tear it up. That's why I'm trying to, um. Okay. Need it today. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we will. Okay. Um, do you want to plug that in, Orleo? Yeah. Um, 
just in there. Did you get a hold of an electrician? Huh? Did you get a hold of somebody for the that outlet? No. I procrastinate a lot. I know how it is. <laughs> I know how it is. All right, man, you can't judge me here. Okay. It's my electric start. Oh, you mean? Dude, I don't know about them big ones, but this thing doesn't start very easy, so we've got an electric start for it now. <laughs> we pull it for days, for days, for days. About that post. <clears throat> yeah. Dude, this thing is sweet. You I got mean, one? no, <laughs> but it like rises up, and she can have like different backgrounds. Got like LED lights all in it. Oh no shit! Dude, yeah, it's like ten grand, <laughs> just for the cover, not even the hot tub. But it's pretty cool, I think. And I see what she wants to extend it more. Yeah. Get some pipe cutters too. I hate electricity. Um. Let's get any wood out of here. But here, like, I try to go with the sun. So in the sun, as it gets hotter, like, I'll start earlier and earlier. Yeah. And by the time summer's here, it's like we work six to two. So by the time it's hot, it's like time to go home. Yeah, that's perfect, dude. So all right, as long as you're good with it, Robbie's not too keen on it. Robbie's he don't like getting up. I got work on him, but <laughs> it's it's brutal out there if you're every day. No nah, man, when I worked in Minnesota, I had to be up at, by 4.30 in the morning to get there by 7 because they moved me from location to location. I was in Iowa for, um, the job site was like 45 minutes away from my apartment and then they moved me over to Minnesota, but I didn't want to get in a hotel just because, you know, they're so expensive and stuff. So I kept my apartment, but the drive was an hour and a half, so I had to be up super early, man. Be there at 7 in the morning, then it was from 7 to 7 and back here. I only spent like 6 hours throughout the whole time. I've been, uh, in that first year, I like I felt like I planned my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> how to not be there? Yeah, how not, yeah, how not to be there and stuff. And I was like, all right, you know, if I do this, this and that, you know. And then I read a couple of financial books, and then you get into rental properties, a little bit of the stock market and stuff. Like I invested, dude, and I made a bunch of money. So I was like, you know what, like, dude, I can live off of this for a year. I deserve it. So I took a whole year off, and now I'm back coming back into work and stuff. So trying to get you know trying to make money again you know because you can't make money without making money yeah you know, so you watch robert kiyosaki yeah 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 I listen to robert kiyosaki yeah, dude. listen to I'm him. all about my money man i like that yeah i could talk money all day long i like it yeah, dude, that's what i don't necessarily like money i like i just like to be financially yeah free man it's the best dude I'm telling you, I, I took a whole year off, dude, and that was the best. And then now I'm just like, dang, I should have just kept working. <laughs> nah. I wouldn't, blown, I wouldn't have blown a lot of my money away, but it was dude. really nice to be yeah. at home, walking the dogs every day, you know, going out to eat with the girl and stuff, and spending more time. So when I worked over there in Iowa and Minnesota, I was gone for 14 hours a day, man. You can't put a price on that. And I would drive back, 12 hours there, and then, yeah, dude, it was tough on me, dude. And I was like, you know, I just want to take a whole year off and just, just work and stuff. The hall kept calling me and calling me. Just have them on deny and deny them. <laughs> Start my own little business and stuff, or just work and you know, enjoy doing something I enjoy, you know, and like working outside is something I like, man. It's never work a day in your outside, life, dude. yeah. You never, you never actually work a day in your life, mm -mm. yeah. I dig it, man. I'm with it. I like that. I like your, I like your outlook. It's, it's smart, it's, it's smart, it's, it's smart, it's very smart. Um, yeah, dude, So we got the moth whisperer here. Yeah, the moth whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> Is that pretty close to? Yeah, right, that's okay. nice. Yeah, my real identity is the moth man. <laughs> Tell you what you need and she'll uh, call it in and you'll go get loaded and then you'll come back and weigh and pay and okay. she'll tell you where it is but she have a bad attitude just warning you so it's not you it's just uh, her it's her personality it's lovely dude i would laugh my ass off if you did that <laughs> my buddy works there and the loader guy he's 
just as bad. Oh, really? I don't know what the deal is, man. Dude, I don't like it being there while they're there. I don't have, she's been there forever. But uh, anyways, if you have any issues, you can call me. Um, but not, not a whole lot. Usually yeah. everyone, everything that's decorative is yeah, I'll get curve. The, I'll get into the rebar stuff too, but um, I wasn't sure if you wanted to switch the blade out or not. Yeah, there's a... I tried looking for it. That blade, I thought it was in the truck. Oh, it's right over there by the rebar. No, I left this off. You said right here, right, to take this off? Nah, I just used the lock in my hand. Yeah. Uh, so I had one of the lock it, it just push the lock until it locks and then you just twist it and that's how you put it on too using that wrench I don't know I think it gets it too tight oh should probably say something different but I don't know oh okay yeah because I've always been used to uh, taking it off with the wrench with the wrench <laughs> yeah <clears throat> You, I know you don't remember, but go on. Don't tell us about your story about not on camera. Cool. How this, dude? How I did out if it's bad? No, it's not bad. I was just, just, you know, what happened? And I, I shut it down. I don't know why. I guess I love my wife or something. But <laughs> cold. <laughs> Dang, I'm ready to go to Florida. Fuck. I don't want to see no more snow. We're, we're going to hold you to that come summertime, Robbie. We're going we're gonna to ask you if you still feel that way. <laughs> we were just talking earlier, and he's like, how do you do it in the summertime? I was like, well, we started a little earlier to beat the heat. He's like, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, Robbie don't. Robbie can't really get up. <laughs> the Rainy Brook and do the Rainy Brook. But uh, you'll have to call me so I can tell you what part, because, like, I don't know. I just thought it was just... Anyways, there's it's just the new part of Rainy Brook, not the old part, not Admiral's Point. So I'll have to tell you where. You talking about the ones in the back? You you, uh, I didn't know we can't even see the dislikes anymore on YouTube. You know that? No, I didn't. No, you can't see the dislikes anymore. Apparently, like some YouTubers um felt hurt, or like <laughs> feelings got hurt that they were getting the dislikes. So they took the like, they won't show you. They won't show you how many dislikes you have. Huh. Ah. But obviously, you as like the the up like the person that uploads, uh -huh. you can see that you know that you got dislikes and stuff, but they, they just won't show it anymore. Hmm. In that one. Yeah, it's full of concrete, but it ain't coming out. I left them pliers down there. And you know, my my I can't speak anymore and stuff. And I was like, oh jeez. So my girlfriend was all worried and stuff. She was like, we're gonna get you a COVID test, a COVID test, a COVID test, a COVID test. Turns out it's <laughs> negative. And then I was like, see, seven sixteenths or eleven millimeter for the size you need on the other one. The other one should probably be the same, 10 millimeter, the battery. I think so. I would assume they'd be the same. 10 or 11? Well, it, 11's for the nut and bolt that I put on. Okay. And I'm gonna guess 10's what the other side was before we put the new bolt in, so. Pretty sure it's 10. Yeah. Well, you'll need an 11 for the other one, for the negative. The other one's already tight. Oh, okay. So let's hear the story. Hey, so when she's when, when, when she first got out of the truck, you know, I was coming around and we're standing there. And I was like, that's a nice truck, you know? It's pretty nice comments, really. And she's like, yeah, I got a thing for shit boxes. I've got three of these at home. This one oh man, that know. just fucking revved your engine, didn't it? Yeah, get this. <laughs> I didn't pick up on it, right? <laughs> no way. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> No way. I didn't, <laughs> no way. I didn't pick up on it right, right away. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So then we're, uh, we can go over. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, so I sit back for a second and I didn't, I didn't even respond to it at all. <laughs> I just kind of smiled and I was like, wow, that, that's happening. That's happening. That's happening. So 
then I, you know, I disconnect the jumper cables, hand them to her. She throws them in the truck and sits there for like five minutes. I'm like, man, what, what? I'm married. <laughs> He's like, forget that pension fund. It's just gonna be crap, you know. Pension funds are four hundred one k's. At the end, of, you know, at the end of the at, at the end of your time, they're crap, you know. Took all of that off, and uh, we took a shoestring off, a shoestring. Yeah. And we just put the shoestring around it, and that's what we we're using to pull because the shoestring fits pretty decently through there. So we never thought of that, but you gotta pull it so much. Yeah. So we we're like, Psh, it works pretty well. But get this here. Hopefully, she fires up. Okay, yeah, I was trying to figure out, I was like, what, what, what's he mean by, like... Uh-oh. Yeah. Um, what time is it, Robbie? <laughs> Too late. Well, yeah, it's like two. I ain't gonna take you very long. It takes like maybe 30 minutes to spread it there. Um, Do you want me to go back out there first? And if I loop it back on the way out to the shop later, well, I don't know because I don't know what stops you right here. Yeah, Robbie, that's fine. Go ahead and knock that out and then just give me a call. And then I'll worry about commercial later. I mean, I already told my lady it's gonna be late night, so. No, it shouldn't be. Get to work. That's probably it. I'll probably wait on the commercial. I want to just do all of them. And there's, like I said, there's too many property lines to tell you. Um, we just ran that over here. Yeah, I do. I really do. Because there's hills and. Yeah. There's. Well, no, it's not homes in there. I've seen Shiloh, I'm the one at Stone's Crossing. It's. uh is that level yet? Alright, see you Robbie.